welcome to a DIY gatefold folio tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters, and today I'm excited to teach you what you can do with our new charmed paper collection. This gatefold folio has been created for us this month by Maria Cole, and Maria really doesn't skimp on the techniques. We are thrilled to show you how to take some Graphic 45 papers and then turn them into a, an album using the packaging from the paper pad and creating your own sturdy, beautiful album. So you can see we've got a little nice, fun waterfall feature going on here. And this opens up with even more space for your photos. We've got a little fun flip top here, some stamping elements. And we're really showing you how to use those journaling cards to your advantage. They're double-sided and so cute. So they're easy just to add into your folios or albums. And they are already done um, embellishments for you. So you can see there's a lot of interactive details here. Just so much fun for anyone who's going through your album to have. And then of course, so much space for all those Halloween photos. We can't wait to see what you do with all these great techniques. Are you going to reuse them on other paper crafting projects? Are you going to use a different paper collection? We want to see it. Now to create this album, you're going to need to pick up our volume eight for 2022 album kit. In that kit, you're going to get our charmed paper collection. You get 16 double-sided sheets in there and two sticker sheets. You're going to get the graphic 45 bag, graphic 45 project sheet to teach you how to create this album. Of course, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to do that with all the measurements and everything. But if you want to recreate one in the future or follow along with some written instructions, that can be very helpful. We're also going to get you the Graphic 45 Classic Black uh, Hybrid Ink Pad, some uh, scalloped papers to do some stamping on, so of course the Charmed Stamp Set, as well as the Charmed Journaling Cards, where you get 32 pieces in there. So to pick up this kit, you can head on down to your local G45 retailer, or you can go to our website, g45papers.com, and become a subscriber where you get this sent to you every month in the mail or you can just pick up a kit a la carte and join along with us so we encourage you grab your supplies grab your scissors and let's have some fun so the first thing you're going to want to do is grab your project sheet it's going to come in your uh, volume 8 kit or of course you can go to our website g45papers.com and go up to the inspiration tab and down to project sheets and you can uh, download this and print it out at home. Step one for our gatefold album, we are gonna be creating our own base from scratch, which I love this tutorial for that. So we're gonna show you how to take just some 12 by 12 papers and some of the packaging and turn it into a nice sturdy album. So we're gonna take our, um, the cover from your 12 by 12 packaging and we are going to cut it into the first thing we're going to cut is going to be 12 inches by 8 inches and then we are going to cut out two pieces that are going to be 3 inches by 8 inches and that will leave you with one 6 by 8 piece left over. And then we're going to label these pieces left front cover, back cover, and right front cover. Next from that packaging we're going to cut out two pieces that are going to be 8 inches by 1 and a quarter. Label those spine. Step three, we're taking two sheets of So Spooky, and we've cut these to be 10 and a half by eight inches. I have taken my right spine and back cover and adhered those onto my So Spooky, leaving the purple and black on the outside. And I've left an eighth of an inch border between those. So I will show you with the second piece how we did that. So I'm just taking some of this score tape you see here. I'm going to cut that to fit and burnish that down on this piece. I don't normally love to use score tape since it's not very forgiving, but 
this is gonna really add a nice a bit of structure. So if you do have some dry adhesive, I would recommend that it could be helpful in this process. And then I'm gonna take some liquid adhesive and go over the top with that and then do my edges. That liquid adhesive is gonna help give us that wiggle room that I always tend to need when adhering things down. So this left piece is just gonna be flush with the top left hand side and bottom. And I always like to have a damp towel around to clean up any excess. So next I'm going to adhere my spine piece. And then I always like to have a little guide around um, marking my 1 8 of an inch just because when, um, whenever we're creating albums, that seems to always be the magic number that we want to leave between our two pieces. So I have just cut this scrap glitter cardstock piece to be 1 8 of an inch, and I can use it as my guide, making sure that everything is going to be nice and spaced out how I want it to. And then after those pieces have dried, you can go ahead and uh, run your bone folder down those edges and just go ahead and score those. So we are starting to create our nice little gatefold you can see. And then we're gonna take our two pieces and adhere those together. I have my score tape down, I've got my liquid adhesive and my little guide. So now all I have left to do is match up our back cover and adhere. Step seven, we're gonna cut two sheets of Frankly Frightful to be 10 and a half by eight inches. Adhere one of those sheets to flush with the left-hand side. And then we'll do the same with the other side. You may have noticed that my labeling got a little mixed up, but it'll all work out just the same, so. Once this dries, we can fold everything up. And while that's drying, I'm just gonna go the extra mile and I'm going to ink my edges. I'm using the classic black Graphic 45 ink pad. Of course, you could use any coordinating inks you've got at home. It just gives us a nice cohesive look since we did uh, put together quite a few layers of paper and kind of brings it all together. And then once your papers are dry, just go ahead and find your spaces between your page, spine, and back cover, and just fold that with your bone folder. Step nine, we have cut our Obats paper to be six inches by eight inches, and then we are gonna score this at three inches on the six inch side and then go ahead and crease that. We've cut off this pumpkin border from Sit For A Spell to be six inches long, and this is going to adhere right here on the bottom. And then from your sticker sheets, attach these two stickers. From your journaling card set, we're gonna locate these five cards. We're going to get these four that are three by four, and this one that is four by three. And then we're gonna take all five of those and put them in your scoreboard and on the four inch side, we're gonna score those a half of an inch from the top. And we did the same with the hay pumpkin as well. So now we're gonna create a waterfall element. So we've taken our um, six by eight piece and on the cat side up, I'm gonna make some marks. So I wanna make my first mark at one inch my second at two inches, three inches, and four. And that's gonna help me guide where I'm adhering these down. So the first one is simple. We just adhere this half inch tab to the flush with the top, like so. We're gonna take this O bats, fold back my half inch tab, and there I did that one inch mark. Next up is our hay pumpkin, and that's gonna go on 
just below that two inch mark. Sit for a spell is next up. So find our next mark. These are about a half of an inch apart from each other, which is nice. It's not making it too bulky, so we can still add some photos without it getting too, um, without it getting too bulky. So then last, we're gonna take our last purple journaling card, and this is just gonna be just underneath that last mark. But then also, I want it to be even with the bottom of this little pullout. So when you're done, you should have a nice little waterfall element like this. Next, we've added some stickers to the top three photo mats. Next, add some adhesive to the back side with the cats. And this is going to go on the inside of our left hand flap. We want it to be flush with the top and bottom. And we want to make sure that it's all going to fold beautifully and not show on this outside edge. So I've got my Boo stamp for my charm set and I'm using the classic black Graphic 45 Hybrid ink. And I want to stamp this down about a inch or so from the left hand edge. And then I'm going to take this fancy little border and we're going to use this as like a journaling line spot, like so. And I am so excited to have Graphic 45 inks again. They make inking the edges of your project so nice and fun. They make stamping a breeze and just the options really are endless with the stamps and the inks. So now I'm gonna do uh, four lines and I'm gonna just start about here. And there you have it. Step 13, we're taking our charmed B side and we've cut it to be 12 inches by eight inches. And now we're gonna create a little pocket with this. So we wanna do some scoring. We're gonna score at a half of an inch here at six inches and 11 and a half. All right, now that we're all scored, we are going to on the right hand side fold in our half inch flap and then fold this over like so. And then we want a half of an inch flap on the left hand side. So, so add some adhesive to that folded in half inch flap and then to the bottom here, making sure not to add adhesive on the uh, half inch flap on the left hand side. And then this we will fold together like so, creating our nice little pocket. So now you can see I've created a nice pocket page with a half inch flap, which will allow me to adhere it onto our gatefold folio. And now I'm gonna take a one inch circle punch. If you have something slightly bigger or smaller, anything will really work. because so we just want to notch the top of our pocket page, indicating that we can stick things in there. Next, we are gonna take a six inch border of this cat's from Sit From A Spell, and it is going to adhere at the bottom of our page. And I now see that it should be five and a half inches, so just trim to a fit. Add some adhesive in a U shape on the back of our stamped page. And this is gonna go about a half of an inch from our cat borders in the center. And on there, we're just gonna slip in our Obats journaling card. And then we're gonna take this Frankly Frightful journaling card and we're gonna put it on the three inch side and score it a half of an inch from the top. Fold that over and crease. And then I'm just gonna add my adhesive to the top half inch section, right in the center of our little scallop piece here, making sure that we're covering up our stamping, but also once we reveal, it will all be perfectly shown as well. So it's a cute little peekaboo. And then we're gonna take two of these cute little banner stickers from our sticker pages. 
and voila. Step 15, we have located our Let's Party paper and we've cut this to be four inches by 12 inches and then we've scored it on the 12 inch side at six inches. And then from Sit From A Spell, we're gonna cut out two border strips of this O Bats border, that's four inches and adhere to top and bottom. Attach this nice little witch sticker to the top. And then we're gonna grab our little pumpkin stamp and ink that up with your black classic ink. And this is gonna stamp right in that bottom right hand corner. So then we have just taken our cute little star stamp and we have stamped and rotated just to get some nice fun decorative details. And then adhere this down. All right, so we're gonna flip our pocket page over and we are going to close our little striped folder that we've created. And then taking this journaling card, we will adhere this just right on top of the stripes. Like so. And then once that's adhered, you can take our second little green witch square and this is just gonna go right over the top of the other one. So when you look at it on this side, it's nice and green and on here, same and they match up perfectly. And then we're going to adhere this in the center just underneath our little half circle cutout. And then we're gonna take this cat border from Sit From A Spell and adhere it to the bottom. Again, we'll just be trimming off any excess. Step 17, we're gonna take our leftovers from Let's Party and we've cut this to be four and three quarters by 12 inches. And then from the bottom, we've scored this to be six and three quarters and that's on the 12 inch side. So you just wanna make sure the bottom of your paper is on the left hand side when you're scoring. So you end up with a piece that looks like this. And then we've taken this four by six journaling card and I've scored it a half of an inch from the left. I've done it on the front side, but on Maria's directions, she does it on, on the journaling side. So you can do it either way. You can see how I do it and see if that's how you like it or mix it up for yourself if you like the other side up front. I think this looks great with all the costumes. So fun and retro. And then this opens up like so, revealing a nice little journaling space. Next, we are going to fold this over and add some decorations like so. This is how Maria has it, which I think that looks great, but I'm gonna try something a little bit different. So I'm gonna match my journaling card up with the bottom of this journaling card and only adhere it obviously to the striped area. So match this up. And then I'm gonna save this sticker for another time. So I have a nice beautiful stripe and then some great area for photos and sentiments. And then this just tucks into our pocket like so. Now it's time to put our pocket page inside of our gatefold folio. So I've added some score tape and I'm just gonna do a little bit of liquid adhesive too to give me that nice little wiggle room if I need it. And then this is going to adhere onto our left hand spine. So I'm just going to eyeball this to have it be in the center of that spine. And it's flush with the top and bottom. So I walked away while this was drying and I forgot to make sure that all the adhesive wasn't um, obstructing anything and it was. So when I pulled this back up, you can see it tore a little bit, which won't be a problem because once we're all done, I'll know what leftovers I have and I can just add a scrap piece of paper or a sticker or something there to make it beautiful and cover up my little boo-boo. But to be honest with you, 
uh, Maria sample got stolen um, when it was mailed to to us this month and I am just I'm going off the pictures that we have and the instructions which are great but I am a visual learner and love to get to play around with those samples and really understand them before I teach you everything so um, just Thank you for being a little bit extra patient with me this go around. I also ran out of my favorite art glitter glue adhesive. Um, I have some at home, so I will have more for tomorrow. But right now I'm just using uh, what we have here in the office and it's a little bit of a, a learning curve. So we'll make it work. We're crafty, we can do this. Um, so let's keep going. Step 20, we've got hay pumpkin, and this has been cut to be a six inches by 12 inches. And then on the 12 inch side from the bottom, I'm gonna score at four inches. Go ahead and fold on that crease. And now we will be working with the part that's six inches by eight inches, and our little jack-o'-lanterns are upside down. Locate the following six by four journaling cards. And then we're going to score all of those on the four inch side at a half of an inch from the top. Fold back on all those crease lines and then we're going to do just like we did with our other waterfall and we're going to make some marks at one inch, two inches, three inches, and four inches. Add your adhesive to that top half inch and this is going to be nice and flush with our sides and top. And then continue to add your journaling cards in this order on those marks we previously made. Add the following stickers. Add adhesive to the six by four inch section of our pumpkin paper. And this is gonna go onto the back center of our folio. We want to make sure it's not obstructing our spine and it's flush with the top and bottom. So making sure everything is looking good when it's closed and everything's flipping up and open like we want it to. Step 25, we're gonna flip up our waterfall section and we are going to start to decorate in here. So I've got my charmed border from Sit for a Spell and that will adhere just flush at the bottom of our pumpkins. And then we're gonna take this journaling card here and add adhesive in a U shape. And this is just gonna go about a quarter of an inch underneath that border on the left-hand side. So we've created a nice little pocket. We'll let that dry. And then we'll take this cute little cat sticker and add a little extra pizzazz over here. And then we'll take this gorgeous journaling card that is a four by six and we're gonna score it a half an inch from the left and go ahead and crease on our score line. Add adhesive to that half inch section and then this is just gonna go nicely in the center. So, and we've got another little fun flap. Step 26, we've taken our second sheet of Sit for a Spell and we're gonna use the B side this time and we've cut this to be 12 inches by eight inches. And now we're gonna do our um, this up just like we did our first full size pocket page this purple beauty here so we put it in the scoreboard and we've scored on the 12 inch side at a half of an inch at six inches and 11 and a half add adhesive to the half inch flap on the left and adhesive on the bottom um, making sure you don't go over this half inch on the right hand side and then we're just going to create our little pocket just like we did before. Take your circle punch that you used before and we're going to pop another notch in our pocket. Now we're gonna stamp this cute little witch and we're gonna do a bit of masking as well. So we're gonna make some more of those nice little journaling lines so we can add our own sentiments and personalize our little photo albums. I'm thinking 
this Halloween, it'd be super cute to go as a retro witch like in this line. What are you thinking for your f for your Halloween this year? We'd love to hear uh, what you're going to dress up as or how you're going to use this album. So I've just stamped this beauty down here like so. Now just wipe off your stamp and put it back. We're going to do some more of those journaling lines and I don't want to stamp over hers. So I'm just going to put this little uh, four by three journaling card over the top of her and add a little bit of washi tape down so I know my pieces won't be moving. Like so. And now I can add some more journaling lines starting from the top and working it down. The scallop lines also help me to line up this stamp so it's a little more even as well. Just kind of noting where those lines are. This washi is going to be in the way. There you have it. Let's see how it turned out. So super cute and so much space for writing in. Next up, we're gonna add a border from Sit For A Spell and this is cut to be five and a half inches. I've scored this on the left-hand side vertically at a half of an inch and added some adhesive and this is just gonna go towards the left like so. And then I'm gonna take this Boo journaling card and I want my Boo to be peeking out from the bottom right. And then add your banner stickers to the top. Take the remaining half of that bat border and adhere it onto the other side, cutting it down to five and a half inches. And then we're taking this No Tricks All Treats, super cute four by six, and we've um, scored it horizontally from the top on the six inch side at a half of an inch. And this is just going to adhere down in the center. And we just added adhesive just to that half inch flap so we have some more fun interactive detail. Step 30, we have hay pumpkin leftovers. And this is four and three quarters by 12 inches. And then we scored this from the bottom at six and three quarters on that 12 inch side. And then we've taken this four by six journaling card and scored um, at a half of an inch on the four inch side. Adhere that half inch flap down and fold this over. And this is gonna be upside down, but not to worry because we're gonna be decorating it up anyway. So I'm gonna take this Hey Pumpkin sticker, put this cutie down, then take this Fright Night journaling card and adhere this. So now you can see we've got a gorgeous covered little flip top photo mat space with so much room to really personalize. And then this just inserts into our pocket. Add your adhesive to your spine. This time I'm not gonna use any liquid adhesive, so wish me luck. And then this is gonna go towards the right hand side of on our right spine. I'm not going all the way because I wanna make sure this closes and opens beautifully and I want it to be flush with my uh, top and bottom. And then add these three stickers to doll up that inside. Now we are gonna create a belly band to keep it all closed and uh, make it look nice and beautiful. So we're taking some of that leftover packaging we have and we've cut uh, another piece to be 12 inches by one inch. And another piece to be seven and five eighths of an inch by one inch. And then we've cut charmed uh, the B side to be those same dimensions. So 12 by one and seven and five eighths by one. And then with those two 12 inch pieces, we are going to score them both at one and three eighths, at seven and five eighths, and nine inches. 
And then with those two smaller pieces, we are gonna score those on the seven and five eighths inch side at one and three eighths. So now we're going to adhere our packaging pieces together. So this is essentially what they will look like when they are done. So I've added adhesive to this section here and this section here of our long 12 inch piece. So there's no uh, adhesive on the rest of that. So let's work with one section at a time. And this is just gonna match up nice and flush with that. Once you have the placement you like, just go ahead and make sure you've got a good bond on there. Take the adhesive backing off your score tape here, and we are going to line up our one and three eighths of an inch sections beautifully here. Now we're all adhered together and we've got our belly band in the making. So add adhesive to the back side of your charmed B side, and we are going to work our papers around. Looking good so far. I've got my score tape on here. I've unpeeled my back, and now I'm just gonna match up my uh, one and three eighths inch section on my belly band, and then I'm just gonna slowly start wrapping this around. So just kind of making sure everything is nice and flush with the sides. And then you can go ahead and get a nice good bond with your fingers. So close up our album, slip this on the top and it's working beautifully. Step 37, we're taking our journaling card packaging and we're gonna cut it down to be five and three eighths by five and a quarter. And then we have our charmed B side that's been cut to be four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then from if the broomstick fits, we've cut out this four and a quarter by four and a quarter charmed square. And now layer those on top of each other and adhere down. With your fine tip scissors from Hey Pumpkin, we're gonna fussy cut out three different pumpkin sets. So we have this one this one and this one and then from a small journaling card we're going to fussy cut out this little haunted house with the cats from sit for a spell we've cut out this no tricks border that's nine and a quarters inches and this is going to adhere just in the center of our belly band around the front and sides leaving the back empty add the charm sticker to the bottom right Add some adhesive behind your belly band, behind the front of it. And I don't have it go all the way to either side, so I leave about a quarter of an inch um, unadhered. And then we are going to take our little square belly band piece that we've been creating and working on and burnish that down. And now I'm going to start to adhere my fussy cut pieces. So I'm gonna put my haunted house to the left and then just adhere your pumpkins how you'd like them. I've got mine all kind of stacked in a bunch together, just adding a lot of fun and interest. Now that all we have left to do is put our belly band around our gatefold folio and you can see it is such a cute little cover. It all stays together nicely and there's lots of space for all your photos. So we hope that you enjoyed creating this with us today. There's so many fun interactive details. Maria definitely um, spoiled us with this fun project and I can't wait to see yours. So go ahead and share your projects with us on Instagram using our graphic 45 hashtag. And if you're looking for more great tutorials like this one, uh, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and then that notification bell so you know every time we upload a fun and fabulous project like this one. We thank you so much for joining us and as always, happy paper crafting.